when you call your your comic excellence, you know, I really feel that it just it raises the bar. Excellence is about Spencer Dales, who is the newest recruit to the Aegis, which is a, a secret order of magicians. He's the product of this famous magical family that has uh, been protecting the, the world covertly for years. And now it is his time to kind of come into his own power and come into this uh, shadowy organization. And he takes a look around at the world and he doesn't like what he sees. It's a book about generational trauma and how the things that happened to those in the past can directly affect you. There is no comic book out there right now that has an entirely black and brown creative team that is made and executed by its own creators that is trying to tell this type of story. It represents a lot of things that we always wanted to do within the comics landscape, but we're never able to do that. That sort of thing is something that's inspiring, something that, that creates um, a new realm of possibility for, for someone like me when I was growing up. It's a lot of really creative people. And it's like good jazz. There's a, a very kind of Saturday morning cartoon anime feel to it. And there's a lot of impossible visuals, you know, some things that really take advantage of the, the comics medium. And, you know, Kari Randolph, you know, my co-creator and artist, a lot of the, the look and feel of the world came from him. It's basically, uh, Afrofuturism, it's designed by Yeezy. I'm trying to bring all the street aesthetic stuff that I love from hip hop, mixing it with the magical of a world like Harry Potter or Black Panther, and just putting it in a pot and just seeing what happens. They can get a little bit of the fantasy, a little bit of the reality at the same time, and um, you know that's that's a perfect starting spot for someone who's who's on the fence about wanting to jump into to a new media, new world. Excellence has definitely been one of the more um, uh, challenging things that I've ever written because it is so personal. There have been scenes where I've been drawing them and they were hard to get through because they touched me on such a personal level. A lot of what you see on the pages are actually sort of memories, like of times that, that, that have, I've had in my life. If you just wanted a comic book about magic and special effects and kung fu, you can read this thing and have a blast. On your second and third read, you might realize some of the deeper things we're putting into this book. We're creating something new and something different and something exciting that I think everybody's gonna love. We know that people will enjoy this book and we know that people will be able to take something very personal and singular from it. And we're just excited to try to get it into the hands of as many people as possible.